Welcome back. I'm Dr. Laura Murillo, President and CEO of the Houston Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. As always, we like to spend some time with our sponsors. And today we have a special guest from Cadence Bank, and he is Moises Barjado. He's Vice President, Branch Manager, Cadence Bank. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Dr. Murillo. Absolutely. So uh, we all know we need to be saving money, and sometimes that's difficult. And especially right now, given the uh, COVID phase that we're living through and, and trying to make it all happen. But for a lot of folks, it's just getting started, right? So tell us, how may one get started? Well, you're absolutely correct. With COVID-19 pandemic, it, it has taught us um, a lot of stuff, especially how to manage our finances. It is important to establish good savings habits early on and be financially responsible uh, to tackle whatever life may bring at us. Um, so I would suggest starting um, looking ahead, first of all, uh, doing a five-year, a 10-year plan. Um, see where you want to be. See where you want to go and start making those, uh, those uh, steps to get there. Um, you will absolutely know that along the way you'll have to make, be making some changes, some adjustments um, as maybe new opportunities come, life changes, uh, marriage, a new baby perhaps. Uh, or maybe even starting your own business. So as you're making those adjustments, you'll know that um, you'll have to restructure your savings plans. Um, one of the things I do highly recommend is for uh, people to do a financial plan at least once a year, a financial statement. You can get one from one of your banks or you can even go online to uh, retrieve one. So what that financial statement does, it gives you a picture of your finances, where your debts are, and where your relationship to your goal, where you stand in relationship to your goals. Um, and it's also important to write down your budget. I know this is time consuming and sometimes it uh, looks medial to do it, but you want to put it down on paper, see how much money is coming in, um, look at your monthly expenses and your annual expenses, write it down on paper so you're able to identify the areas where you can perhaps make some cuts so you can boost your saving power. And it varies, it's all relative, isn't it, right? So for families, $100 a week may be a lot for them to try to save. And so you need to adjust it based on what you can do. And, and on that note, Moises, tell us about some of the options one may have as it relates to savings accounts. Yes, uh, so there's three uh, main uh, areas where you can start savings and it's almost like a step. Um, towards savings. So the most basic one or the one where people can get started in is a, savings, a regular savings account. These um, have, are kind of like the simple entryway into it. And then as your money grows, you can consider moving it to a money market. And, and we'll go into the little bit details of, uh, of how these work. And once you have a good solid savings plan, then we can move into what we call uh, certificates of deposits or maybe you hear them as CDs. So the differences between these savings vehicles is uh, one key component is the uh, APY or annual percentage yield. The APY tells you how much you're going to earn over a one year period of time. So it gives you a, um, a, 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 a the more basically the more uh, APY or the higher the APY, the more uh, savings, you, uh, your savings will grow. So uh, most financial institutions have all three of these vehicles. Um, you do want to make sure that uh, you understand your FDIC insurance limits as your money grows, um, but all any bank has all three uh, options for you. So the uh, traditional savings account normally has the lowest APY of all of these three savings uh, accounts, but it also has the fewest amount of requirements or restrictions. Uh, you will want to pay it, also pay it close attention to any fees, so stay within the perimeters that the account uh, has been outlined for you, um, such as balances or withdrawal limits. Uh, some financial institutions may also uh, uh, offer you a automatic savings plans, which is a great way to start your savings. So that with automatic savings plans, um, you select how often and how much you want to transfer automatically from your checking account into your savings, and you drive that that uh, that amount, and you drive how frequency how frequent that amount goes. So as that automatic 
savings plan starts building, your uh, automatically your savings uh, uh, interest will start growing with it because you're building your your bottom line. Yeah, and it's I, all about I, getting started, right? It's about getting started, going to absolutely. banks such as Cadence, finding someone to walk you through it, and knowing that. There are all kinds of people with all kinds of different situations. You're not alone. There are resources available. And Moise says, before we wrap up, anything else you'd like to share with the audience? Um, start today, like what you uh, you said. Um, don't put it off. Savings accounts are something that, or a savings plan is something that you want to start right away. Um, don't put off your goals because then they will never uh, realize. Make a plan, write it down, and implement it. There you go. Well, great advice from our friends over at Cadence. Thanks again for joining us and we'll see you very soon. Thank you. Have a great one.